And this is Governor Wildstar, a.k.a. Nicholas Wildstar, candidate running now for mayor of Fresno. I have with me lovely officer Jay Sanchez, who's recording me, recording him. <laughs> but I'm out here at Walmart, as I have been uh, ever since I've been collecting signatures for about two weeks now. And according to California law, Walmart is one of those places where I can stand outside freely uh, collect um, signatures for my petition here just so I can get on the ballot. But now this lovely officer uh, is telling me again, I, I, I can't do that. So the designated free speech zone, are you going to tell me where it is? No, I'm telling you that you need to go either to the street mm -hmm. or legal to do whatever you want. Okay. It's Walmart's property. Okay. So They uh, asked me to ask you to leave. Okay. So... After that, then you're going to get, A, a ticket mm -hmm. for trespassing, or uh, I can arrest you for trespassing. Okay. okay. So did you guys catch that? Uh, because Walmart is claiming this is private property, that they're designating that I either go over to the street, I guess, and then I can collect my signatures there, or I'll be cited for trespassing and or arrested, depending on however this guy feels, I guess. But now we have a Walmart representative here. Oh, I can. Oh, so she just said I can go over in that area, which is okay. So I guess you're wrong. No, um, no. Okay. Oh, oh, they have a red box which. Okay. Um, is there any reason why that red box is That is where our nonprofit organization, they, they have that mm -hmm. box that they are approved to see. Okay, so when you have, you know, Girl Scouts come out and sell they, cookies? They stand right there in that box. Right there in that box. Gotcha, okay. So I guess I have to go over to the designated uh, free speech zone now to see if I can collect my signatures. Uh, wish me luck. In the meantime, Officer Jay Sanchez, good luck. All right. Thank you very much. I'm sure you're going to be voting for Dyer and supporting him. Uh, I live in a different city, so I can't vote. Well, then why are you working in Fresno? Because I live in Fresno. See, yeah. and this is what I, Okay, so he works in Fresno. He lives in Fresno. Fresno area. What? Fresno County? Yeah. So that encompasses a lot of towns. Okay, but so you're Fresno I can't vote. police. I can't vote in Fresno. Ah, okay. He can't vote in Fresno, but he's Fresno police working under Dyer. Uh, tomato, tomato. Anyway, thank you very much for the information. Here we are, people. This, this is. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Are you ready to shoot the vote in Fresno County? Great. If you could, all I need you to do, my man, is just clearly print your name, sign, and then of course your registered voter address. I appreciate you taking the time to sign. My name is Nicholas Ross. I'm a senator running for mayor. This job is a lot harder than it looks, you know? <laughs> and it, it's awful that, you know, we live in a country where supposedly we have all of these freedoms and liberties, but yet at the same time, they're dictated by people or companies. Or, you know what I'm saying? Money is power in this country, right? And that needs to change. We the people, we should have all of the power, you know? So it's up to us to take those reins and control that. Kind of like, what kind of, like, you know, what's, what's your idea on your question? Making the city better? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. I, I think box. yeah, so we got to leave. I apologize. Yeah, yeah so I, I don't mean to steal you. Yeah, because I'm told that this is the only area I got to, I must stay in in order to collect signatures. Even though I've been out here collecting signatures the entire yeah, time. I've seen other people collect signatures in front of here and over there. You see, exactly. Yeah. But and you would think I would be good for business. I'm dressed out, I'm look, uh, you know, looking like Uncle Sam out in front of the store, <laughs> greeting people as they come in. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> so uh, you would think they'd be more welcoming of me, but hey, this is how it is in this country. But if you could for me, I need your street address as well. Oh, you did. You yep. put it already. Great. All right, Henry. Thank you so much. Yeah. I truly appreciate it. I'm on Instagram live right now. I don't know if you want to say hi. I don't want to put you on camera. Oh, yeah. What's up? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again hey, for the support. Uh, I appreciate it. God right. bless you, man. Please spread the word. I'm a grassroots candidate, so all right. Have a good one.
All right, you guys. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> well, well, we got some uh, some viewers here. Thank you, you guys, for tuning in. I appreciate it. I got my man Fashion Cut in here. He said I'm gonna collect money today <laughs> or collect signatures. All right. Uh, if you can, yeah, I need them. The Pruning Yard decision says you can in front of Walmart. Exactly. Um, yeah. So that's the thing is I'm out here according to the law uh, determined by the state. And I'm still being told uh, that I, I now have to stay in this free speech zone, this, this red area. I don't know how to turn it around. Oh, okay, there we go. See? So, yeah, this is the free speech zone. And it's far away from both doors now. And as people come up, they tend to just walk straight into the entrance, so I now got to yell at them from this free speech zone. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? If I could catch people walking through this area, yeah. But other than that, you know, it defeats the purpose. So um, we really do got to change things in this country. I mean, uh, law shouldn't only apply to specific groups or specific individuals based on how much money you have, based on your skin color, based on any other reason at all. If the, if the law is the law, then it needs to apply to us all. And those people that claim to be enforcers of the law should not act as if they're above the law and dictate the law. As you saw here in this video, when this guy tried to tell me I need to go out in the street, and then the Walmart representative comes out here and says, actually, he can go over there. So, you know, what is it? So it's all about harassment, it's all about dictatorship, and if we're living in a free country, then we need to be upholding the values and principles that made this great country what it is. So when we talk about making America great, we need to remember that the founding principles are freedom, liberty, and justice for all. Again, for all. A-L-L. -L. Okay? <laughs> God bless you all. Peace. And until next time. What's up, what's up, everybody? How you doing? It's Governor Wildstar, a.k.a. Nicholas Wildstar, mayoral candidate for Fresno. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys an update from what you may have saw on my uh, storyline earlier. I got kicked out of a, a Walmart, and <laughs> actually, ever since then, I've been here at another Walmart. Can you believe it or not? <laughs> and I've been here ever since then. I've been here maybe... Three hours, I believe. And um, I have a police car unit over there. Earlier, there was actually a second unit, and neither one of them bothered me. There were even uh, Walmart employees that came out and uh, didn't say anything to me. What's up, Stavante? You checking me out? <laughs> and what's up, Chris? Thank you guys for tuning in. But I didn't get harassed by any Walmart uh, store employees. I didn't get harassed by the police. And I got over 100 signatures today. Woohoo! So I'm almost at my 500 mark. A few more, and I'll have all that I need to get onto the ballot for Mayor of Fresno. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate your support, appreciate you tuning in, and I appreciate you help spreading the word for me because I'm a grassroots candidate. You know, I don't have the millions of dollars that uh, other candidates have to uh, get the publicity that they need. So all of the people of Fresno, thank you for signing today. Um, the police officers that did not bother me, <laughs> the Walmart employees that did not come out here. This is the one on Blackstone. So uh, kudos, hats off to uh, the uh, management here at the Walmart in Blackstone in Fresno. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And until next time, peace, long live liberty.